Hey, hey guys, Kirsty Snyder here, ready to rock for the second time today on Monday, June 5th. I am super excited to have you here. Make sure to put replay in the comments below if you're seeing this later on from mytiktokplaylist.com and then be intentionally present if you have specific questions about working online, being able to generate income, replaceable income, supplementary income, full-time income, whatever it is you want. Make sure to participate as if you're intentionally live. You can catch on this later on from the replay at mytiktokplaylist.com. Now, for a dozen of you guys who aren't on with me now, make sure to say hi in the comments. Let me know that you're here. I'd love to give you a shout out. On top of that, if you're bold enough, if you are bold, comment right now how much you'd want to make online if you could just have an extra supplementary income for working at home, online, from your phone, right from the device you're on watching this video right now. Drop me a comment. Let me know how much you'd like to make, whether that be an extra $1,000 a day, $1,000 a week, $1,000 a month, higher or lower than anything I just said. Be bold. Drop me a comment. Let me know how much you'd like to make. And then on top of that, ask yourself, are you willing to do what it takes to get there? Because the majority of us, what's up, Tiffany? The majority of us love talking about how we want to make extra income. We love talking about how it would be nice to make something more, right? We're waiting around for that raise. We're waiting around for you know our boss to give us something extra, whatever else. So we work longer. We work the weekends. We take a second job. We go donate plasma, whatever else, because we love the idea of making more. Well, the reality is you could be working right from your phone in one to two hours a day, being able to supplement and replace your income over time doing digital marketing. But instead, we'd rather talk about what we want to make instead of actually doing it. So I challenge you right now, I challenge you right now to get out of your own head, get out of your own way, and, and be very specific with how much do you want to make. I dare you guys to drop me a comment. Let me know how, how much you'd like to make. Literally, if I could just write you a check every single month and have you make an extra amount of money, how much would it be? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Because the truth is, you could have everything that you desire. Okay, as cheesy as that sounds, you could have everything that you have and that you want you'd be able to actually have that if, if you're willing to do what it takes to get there. Are you willing to do what it takes to get there? If you are not willing to do what it takes to get there, then you're going to be all talk and it would be easier. Okay. It would be a lot easier to just talk about how you want to make extra income rather than actually doing it. Does that make sense? Now here's the thing. And here's what I want you to understand. The majority of us are used to and obsessed with, probably addicted to, talking about how we want to make extra money. We complain about the people who make too much, yet we're pulling more hours to make more. Hmm, isn't it ironic, right? It's kind of ironic. But how many of us are actually willing to do what it takes to get there towards that goal that we say, okay, I want to make an extra $900. I want to make an extra $1,000. Whether that's $1,000 a day, $1,000 a week, or $1,000 a month, the same amount of willingness goes into you being able to actually make that additional income. And instead, we're addicted to just talking about it rather than actually doing it. So I challenge you tonight to step out of what you're used to doing and step into what can, what will I do to make additional income online instead of just talking about it, wishing about it, making noise about it. Does that make sense? Yep. People spend money on stuff that doesn't supposed to spend. Exactly. You control the controllable. And who else commented? It's not about how much you make. It's about how, what, let's see. It know about how much you made is how much you spend. On top of that, and I'll just reiterate maybe what you're trying to say here, is it's not about how much you make. It's about how much you keep. Does that make sense? Because if you make $10,000 a month and you spend 10,000, you might as well be the broke as a joke guy who's complaining about not having enough money because it's not about how much you make. It's about how much you keep, which is why I do what I do with digital marketing because it's the ability to make and save money, being able to actually keep more in your pocket Instead of forking out more money for you guys know them, the courses, the material, the upsells on this platform. I don't know about you, but it makes more sense to me to spend $200, 
on a global online business for digital marketing, say $12 to a domain so I can customize the capture page funnel building and sequencing for you on the back end for free. Instead, you would rather be bait and switched by someone who's going to say, hey, it's less than $10. Just kidding. It's actually $500. Just kidding. It's actually $2,500. Just kidding. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg, right? You don't need to fall for the high ticket stuff. In fact, you don't need the high ticket stuff, whether that be course, whether that be an ebook, whether that be an upsell about learning how to do something. I don't care if you think that you need that. I care why you think you need that. You could learn for free right now with whatever side hustle you're doing. You could learn for free right now on freesocialmediatraining.com. You could literally learn for free from funnels to capture pages to how to master the four majors of YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, how to actually have leads coming to you instead of forking out more money for leads, for ad spend, anything like that. I make five figures every single week and what I do costs $200. Gee, how in the freak does that happen? Well, it's called scalability. It's called one focus, one energy, one lane where you maximize the crap out of it because what you do matters. But instead, you guys would rather fall for things that make you feel less than. Why? Please tell me why. Why? Because someone's marketing and saying, oh, go make X amount per day doing this and this, doing nothing. Go make $50 by doing voiceover work. Just kidding. <laughs> go get my high ticket offer that I'm going to sneak and slide you into. Why are you falling for that? You don't need to fall for that. If you want to go purchase a high ticket offer, do it because you actually resonate, not because someone's convincing you to do it, okay? There's a way that's applicable and relevant to actually gaining sales and being good at what you do. There's another way of I'm going to slide you into a high ticket offer just so I can make a dollar from you. And if you have ever felt that you're looked at like a dollar bill, that needs to stop right now. There are way too many high ticket offers on this platform. Not that anything's wrong with that. You go do you, babe. Uh huh. Go get your money. But make sure that if you're doing a high ticket offer, that you actually provide the person value. Because all these high ticket offers, ironically, are coming to me now needing help with marketing because what they purchased, high ticket, meaning let's just say 500 to 2,500 to five grand, something in there, okay? Whether it's three grand, whether it's 2,500, whether it's $1,000, whatever it is. You could be learning for free on my YouTube channel how to actually market and scale, and instead you think you have to purchase a course. Are you kidding me? Why? Why do you think that? Because the person who's telling you to purchase their course is convincing you to do it? No, that's stupid. You're not in the convincing game. When you know how to effectively market, you're going to have sales and leads for days. Do you guys feel you know how to effectively market? If you do, just put the word yes. If you don't and you aren't at the sales that you want yet, whether you work with me directly or you do something completely different, just put the word no, I'm not where I want to be. Because if you were where you wanted to be, you probably wouldn't be on my live video right now wondering, gee, how do I make $3,000 a month, right? Now, I'm not here to pitch you on my stuff. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to go purchase something high ticket in order to be really, really lucrative and successful online. You know what I'm saying? Ash, awesome to have you. Let's see, Honey and Brian and Lara, all of you guys are feeling the same way. James Saltman, yeah, you're not where you wanna be. How much would you want to make if you could do it in one to two hours a day around your schedule? What would you wanna make? Now, don't say something outlandish like, I want to make a billion dollars. Yeah, you and everyone else. Make it real for yourself. Why are you in the side hustle realm? What about having extra income is helpful? Okay, think about it, you guys. Typically, people are going to say, oh, I want to make, you know, 5000 extra a month. Okay, cool. <laughs> Maritza literally just commented that as I say that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so 5000 a month. That's $60,000 a year. What about 5,000 would help you out? Is that covering bills? Is that you getting out of debt? Is that you replacing income? What does that look like for you? Okay, Brian says 5,000. Nancy says 3,000. Okay, James says just enough to not have to work six to seven days a week. Exactly, James. You wanna know why? Because you know you're made for more. 
So you're on the realm, you're on the hunt or whatever for the right side hustle because you actually believe that you're made for more, right? Honey says 5,000, okay? Ashley says 10,000 to keep your husband home. Did you guys know? I don't know. Do you want to know? Should I tell you this secret? Some of you guys know the secret. Maybe. If you want to know the secret that I'm about to say due to Ashley Digital Marketer's comment, 10,000 to get her husband home. If you guys want to know the secret, just put the word secret, okay? And as I'm waiting on the secret comments, I will scroll up and make sure I didn't miss any comments here. I know Michelle had a couple questions. Let me see if I can find your comment. Hold on one sec. Hold on. Um, let's see. Shoot, where is that? Oh my gosh, where is that? Tori Fox says, I have a question about the actual program. If you're paying for the highest program, how much do you realistically save yourself with the program? So what I do through digital marketing, Tori, if you're still here, just drop me a yes real fast. What I do with my savings program is being able to save on your normal monthly bills, things like auto insurance, your cable bill, your you know Sirius XM, your Zoom subscription, your ABC mass subscription, your auto insurance, home renters insurance, your cell phone bill, anything like that, okay? When you enroll as a Titanium member, you're able to save on literally everything that I just said on top of saving about $100 on groceries that you're already gonna be buying, okay? You're on, you need the groceries. You wanna save $100 a month on being able to get the groceries that you already need to buy? Mm -hmm. um, right now, my husband's saving about 27 cents per gallon of gas because of the savings membership. Yes, that's what I sell. Yes, that's what you can sell too. Generating yourself passive income, 50% commissions on the initial sale, and then because it's needed every month, like a gym membership, like a Netflix account, you pay for it every single month. That means you're making a passive 25% per sale, which means if you get in at Titanium for $200, you only need four sales in order to never pay that membership again yourself, okay? Tori Fox, the savings really work and they work really well. And if they didn't and they were just like a bunch of smoke up someone's butt, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> We've been doing it since 2006. We work with over 800,000 vendors. So you're in the clear with that. You are. Is that helpful? Let me know. Michelle says, what's the site name again? Michelle, if you already have a business and you need extra help with marketing, you don't want to pay for a course. You just want to do it for free. You can go to freesocialmediatraining.com. Freesocialmediatraining.com, okay? If that's not the site you were talking about, Michelle, please let me know because I saw your comment and then it you just scrolled all the way up and I couldn't even see it anymore. <laughs> Sorry about that. But if you're still here and you have an additional question or you're asking about something else, please let me know. All right, just scrolling up. Okay, so you guys want to know the secret. Ha, ha, ha. You want to know the secret. Okay, cool. Let's see real quick. Good evening. Is there an email or somewhere else I could reach out to you if Facebook was hacked? Yep, you can find me on Instagram. Same handle. My first last name, Kiersey Snyder. How you spell that is my TikTok bio. Just let me know you came from TikTok Live. All right, so Honey and Happelma. Happelma. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Heather, Fantasia, Nancy, James, Laura, lots of you guys. Okay, here's the secret. Here is the secret. My husband is retiring from his J-O-B here in 25 days from now because of this side hustle I'm talking to you about right now through digital marketing. And we're going to take it full time as a couple Alongside our three kids, I've got three kids under age six, six, four, and one and a half, and he never has to go to a job again. Because why, guys? Listen, the reason he's able to retire from a job has nothing to do with, I make money off of people. No, I'm just really good at marketing, and I'm really good at providing value for people like yourself to do the same, which means when I provide value, I don't provide like gimmicks. Oh, here's a high ticket offer. He, he, he. You know what I'm saying? I don't provide gimmicks. I don't provide outdated, stupid marketing strategies that are irrelevant to the person watching. And then on the back end, you go get something else that's high ticket. No, the reason I'm able to retire my husband, yeah, meaning he's not working. Okay. He's not working. He's literally doing the side hustle alongside me at home which means he doesn't clock into a job. So I invite you user 2 2016 to shift your language, okay? 
He's retiring from his job, meaning clocking in and out, meaning he doesn't have a boss, meaning he doesn't have to go Monday to Friday working for something and someone else. He's able to be at home with me and our three kids because this side hustle, side hustle turned into full-time income. Not a hobby, not like kind of we make money with it or something. No, full-time income. He's able to be at home with us now. Does that make sense? Let me know. Marianne says, so can you teach me how to do what you're doing? Yes, my friend. Marianne, you can go get fully informed on my YouTube channel. Just search my first last name, Kirsty Snyder. K-Y-R-S-T-I-S-M-Y-D-E-R. -S -E I know I said that fast. Don't be alarmed. It, the spelling is in my TikTok bio as well. Okay. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Jill, Jilly girl, Jill, Jill girl. I'm going to say your name's Jill, but if I'm saying it wrong, please let me know. <laughs> um, you took the $7 course and you're so confused. So just a real can of worms here. Jill, if you're still here, drop me a yes. I started with that course as well back in 2020. I was then told I would fail online unless I upgraded to their stuff for $2,500. I didn't have $2,500 to spend on a course, let alone to go to my bills. I was very much in a bad way. And I mean, I was asking for my com from my community for help with groceries, okay? I was not in a good spot. And long story short, <laughs> without that can of worms being open too much, I turned that frustration into ambition and do what I do now where you aren't, you aren't upsold. You're not going to be spending even a penny on how to do it and a course and an ebook and something irrelevant that just sways you into spending and forking out more money. No, you're going to be able to get my custom app for lead generation. Did you hear that? Custom app for lead generation, literally on the go, being able to work from your phone, not just, oh, you can work anywhere. No, really, you can, because <laughs> you have a phone. You're watching this video right now from your phone, I would bet, right? Which means you can be making money literally directly from your phone. You don't have to log into a computer and have all these fancy equipment pieces and, again, forking out more money, okay? You get my partnership of funnel building, email sequencing, capture page is done for you on the back end for free because guess what? Here's a big freaking truth bomb for you guys. You don't need to go pay for an autoresponder and, an, and a funnel builder and all these things if you don't know how to effectively market. I don't care what you're selling. You could be selling a pink rug from Amazon. You could be selling something high ticket that's freaking 10 grand. No one's gonna click your link and there will be no one to email and follow up with unless you actually know how to market. Does that make sense? So these people telling you that you need to learn how to do it for $2,500 and then you need to go get, you know, an autoresponder for X amount and click funnels for, you know, $100 to $300 a month. You don't need to be paying for those types of things until you know how to effectively market. Now, if you already have a business and you need help with marketing, you can go right now to freesocialmediatraining.com, freesocialmediatraining.com. And you can go literally for free, walk through my 30 different tutorials from mindset to mastering YouTube, to mastering short form video on a place like TikTok, to Facebook groups, to repurposing on Instagram, to doing reels, hashtags, literally all of it for free. Not purchasing a damn course for who the freak knows why. And then you're spending and spending and spending and still not making any money. Hello, stop the madness. You don't need to be told that you have to purchase something high ticket in order to succeed. And back in 2020, Jill girl, when I did that course, I didn't upgrade. I didn't have the funds. There was no way I was able to spend that amount of money. Now on a low day, I'm doing 2,500. Okay. And that's me just showing it to you guys straight. That's not for me to be boasting here. No, I'm not going to come up with these sarcastic comments. Cause some of you guys are like that. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. You know, proof in the pudding. Show me your bank account. No, I'm not going to because I'd have no reason to lie about making $2,500 in a day. And if you're skeptical and you don't believe that, that's okay. Maybe what I do isn't a fit for you. But what I can tell you is if you toss the skepticism aside and you say to yourself, you know what? Even if it took me five years to get to $2,500 a day made, would that not be worth it? Just put worth it if you feel me. Because even if it took you five years, let's say it took you freaking 10 years to get to $2,500 made a day. Just do the math on that. How much is that? What's 2,500 times 30, you guys? That's a lot of freaking money. And that's something that you could have if you'd get over your skepticism. 
and stop falling for things that make you feel less than. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, Jill, I told you that that would be a not huge can of worms and then I got off on like 10 tangents. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it's fine. Uh, let's see. All right, just scrolling up, seeing if I missed any comments here. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Hey, Kirsty, you just got in and need some guidance with domain and site name. Are they the same thing? So your domain that you'll get, Josh, which congrats in advance, by the way. I hope you're still here. I just barely saw your comment. Um, your domain is going to be something like workwithjosh.com, which will then be attached to the custom funnel and email sequencing and capture page that I'll build on the back end for you for free. Your site name is just your custom link that makes that funnel link specific to you. So to keep it simple, just have your site name be your first last name or a variation of it. It doesn't have to be something like super flashy and whatever, because it's going to be attached to a funnel anyway. Does that make sense? Let me know. All right. Lysandra says, hey, has your husband been doing this side hustle uh, with you as long as you've been doing it? Yes, my friend. Lysandra. Yes, he has. He's a lot more in the background as far as that goes, where I am the front. Like I do the majority of the videos, things like that. He does a lot of the back end work of like uh, funnels and emails and things like that. But come June 1st, or not June, <laughs> July 1st, we're going to Hawaii as a family from the 1st to the 7th over the 4th of July. And when we come back on the 8th, he's never going to go back to work. He doesn't have a job, no boss, no whatever, clock in, clock out thing. Um, you'll see videos from him. It'll probably be a playlist on my YouTube channel or something. <laughs> he's awesome. Tiffany, what's up, girl? What's up? Okay, Marianne says, I'm going to drop off for now. Go back to your video. Thank you. I'll be back. Sounds good, Marianne, which probably you're gone because I'm just barely seeing your comment, but yes. Hmm. <laughs> When someone says truth bomb, you know it's a scam. All right, user something, something. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, freaking weirdo. Yep, I guess I'm so scammy that I say truth bomb. You're so right. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna block this ish. All right, hopefully he's blocked or she or whoever. Let's see, I did start your series today. I do not have a business yet. Okay, Jill, so. If you started at freesocialmediatraining.com, that's fine. That's great. It's going to give you a lot of knowledge about marketing, but until you have a business, meaning a product to sell, meaning a transaction happens in order for your marketing to actually scale and actually be getting paid income from it. Does that make sense? Um, you're just gaining information about how to market, which is awesome, but I'd rather you have a business so that you can apply the concepts you're learning from free social media training instead of just getting info about marketing. Does that make sense? Let me know. Let's see. Yep, they're literally free on YouTube. You got it, Ash. <laughs> it's funny. Alexis, my website, if you want to um, gain insight about partnering with me, you can go to my YouTube channel. It's just my first last name. How you spell my first last name is in my TikTok bio, Kirsty Snyder, K-Y-R-S-T-I-S-M-Y-D-E-R. You can go get fully informed there. And if you guys already have a business and want to scale your sales, then you can go to freesocialmediatraining.com, freesocialmediatraining.com, and you'll be able to walk through 30 different tutorials from mindset to mastering the four majors of social media, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to teach you to go fork out money. In fact, you can just learn for free. I'm not going to teach you how to do something like ads and clicks and traffic. I'm going to teach you how to grow organically so that you can be in control of your income because you're in control of your leads that you're getting for free. Does that make sense? Drop me a comment. Let me know if that makes sense. Uh huh. Yep, I'm not going to show you because if you actually go get resourceful, you could be able to see all of my income proof and whatever else relatability wise that you need on my YouTube channel. But it doesn't make sense to talk about on TikTok because I'm not going to show you right now. Instead, you're going to look right at my face. Makes sense. So Jill says it's worth it. Maritza says it's worth it. It's Maritza. Maritza, right? Let me know if I'm saying that right. <gasps> ah! Okay, where the heck did your thing go here? Hold on. Um, Happel Ma says it's worth it. Upside down smiley face says it's worth it. Okay, cool. Tricking people into this should be illegal. Yeah, thank heavens I blocked you. 
because I'm so tricky. Hmm. I'm so tricky. I'm such a scammer. You're so right. People are so weird. Oh my gosh. Awesome, Josh. I'm glad that makes sense. Let me know if you have questions, okay? All right, Julie, just barely saw your comment. Julie asking, what do I do? If you're still here, just drop me a yes real fast and I'll go into it real quick for you. If you want me to, let me know. Um, <clears throat> I, what's up, Ryan? Ryan, good to have you. Congrats in advance. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Good job. Good job being here, Ryan. It's awesome. Okay, Julie, I sell a savings membership. I teach people like yourself how to do the same, generating passive income. You can go get fully informed on my YouTube channel. You can just search my first last name, Kirsty Sider, K-Y-R-S-T-I-S-M-Y-D-E-R. Get fully informed. Feel free to text me if you want. As soon as you're ready to rock, you can also find me on Facebook or Instagram, same handle, Kirsty Snyder. Just let me know that you came from TikTok Live so I can help you out, okay? But go get fully informed. Uh, let's see. Sorry, guys, just scrolling up, making sure I didn't miss any comments. Let's see. I want to learn from you. I like your style, honey. I love you too. Let me know your real name though. <laughs> and if it really is honey, that's freaking awesome. Go get fully informed on my YouTube channel and then find me on Facebook. Shoot me a DM and just let me know that you're the handle honey from TikTok and we'll connect there as well. Okay. <laughs> Ash. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Maybe I am just so tricky, Ash, that people are so mad that I give things away for free. It's so tricky. You're so right. What a silly person. Danielle G, how much does it cost for this now? So it's always costed the costed. It's always cost the same. To open up your business in a box with me to have my free training be applicable, the free funnels, capture pages, email sequencing, the app, all of that be applicable. You open up your business in a box for twenty to two hundred dollars. That's it. $20, meaning like 20 bucks at Chick-fil-A, not 2200 20 to $200, depending on the level of benefit that you want, okay? Philip says, hey, if you have questions, I'll reach out to you soon. Sounds good, Phil. Uh-huh, let's see. Just looking at these comments, hold on. Um, Chocolate Drop Jones, are you still here? Drop me a comment, just put the word yes if you are, okay? Nope, still, Chocolate Drop Jones says, nope, still lost even with ClickBank training. Yeah, you wanna know why? Because ClickBank, the most successful with ClickBank is going to be where you're spending Facebook ad money, which is fine, but if you don't have the funds to continue forking out money and you don't want to figure out how to do Facebook ads, ClickBank would not be the thing to do. Well, it depends your goal, okay? My opinion is ClickBank or DG Store or basically anything that's a one and done sale is hard to scale because it's not needed every month. So you're constantly having to produce content or purchase traffic and ads and things like that because you constantly need new sales. With what I do, just as the comparison, it's needed every single month, which means you produce some piece of content today. You could repurpose that in a month and a year from now not having to put in the work, just the time it takes to post on the four majors, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and you can be getting paid because what you do is passive. It's needed every single month. Rather than a one and done sale, like say I'm an affiliate marketer for Amazon, if I sell you a pink rug, the odds of you buying a pink rug every month are not likely, right? But if I sell you something like what I do, say similar to a a gym membership, a Netflix account, an Amazon Prime account, something that's needed every month pays you every month because it's needed every month. So find something that can create passive income and you won't feel as lost. I can almost guarantee you that. Let's see. I honestly believe that there has to be more to marketing than pushing someone's training. I agree with you, ENT23. Here's the thing. If someone wants to purchase a course, they certainly can. Coming from my perspective, I think it's BS. I think people who are selling courses don't need to be selling courses when you could probably learn for free. And it's not because it's wrong, it's because they like the high ticket stuff. Maybe they want to 
have of course be the things that they sell but just like I was telling chocolate Jones a minute ago it's a one and done sale someone purchasing a course a high ticket whatever from you it's not needed every month they purchase at one time you get one and done sale you might make 500 or a thousand or three thousand bucks but then as soon as you stop producing content your income stops right but I agree with you ENT 23 I honestly believe there is there has to be more than marketing to marketing than pushing someone's training. Amen. Amen. Totally agree with you, which is why I don't do that, <laughs> which is why I don't do that. Cause I do agree with you. What products do you recommend selling? So queen, he, he, Kate, he, Kate, he, Kate. Hmm. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, it depends your goal. So when you look at yourself financially, do you want one and done sales? Do you want to make a thousand dollars? Do you want to make low ticket? Do you want to make passive income? You've got to figure out what lane you want. And then I can help you with what product to sell, but you've got to figure out, do you want passive income? Do you want high ticket income? Do you want something that's like selling a course where it's material for what someone could do? Or do you want to actually provide a product and service for something they could have shipped to them or something they could log into? For example, I do digital marketing, which means everything that I sell is digital. It's literally, you could log in from your phone. It's something that's electronic. It's not something that's physically shipped. You know what I mean? Chocolate Drop Jones, find me on Facebook. We can chat there. My Facebook handle is the same as here, as YouTube, as Instagram. Just my first last name, Kirstie Snyder. Let's see... <laughs> Ashley, replying to ENT23, there is, and she talks so much about that. I hate how others teach cringe. Yep. And what Ash means by that, because Ash and I have talked on Facebook as well. She totally agrees with this. You guys know the videos. You know the videos. You've been on TikTok. You've been on Facebook. You've been on whatever. And you know the videos that are like, here's the top three ways to make money. Blah, blah, blah.com. Go here and type and make $50 billion by doing nothing. Right. And then on the back end of that video, they're like, Hey, but if you want to know what I do, haha, -ha, follow for more. Or, Hey, I make $700 million a day doing something else. Go to the link in my bio so that you can know that. Okay. But the problem is, is their video starts out with something like, here's the top the top affiliate programs to make $12,000 a month with, and then they don't tell you how to effectively market. They're just after the vanity metric of getting you into their high ticket offer instead, right? Wrong. That should not be happening. It's not okay that people are doing that. And if they are, or maybe you've done it too because you don't know any better, please stop. Having the bait and switch videos is never going to help anybody. They're, they're great. They're great if you want vanity metrics like views, engagement, comments. But the person promoting in that way, A, doesn't know how to effectively market. And B, probably doesn't know any better because that's what they were told from their sponsor to do. And C, the worst of it all is it's fizzling income. There's no actual value that happens when the person on the other side of the screen, not the person watching, not you, when this person on the side of the screen says, here's the top five ways to make 12,000 this month, he he, just kidding, go get my high ticket offer, something totally irrelevant to what I just said. I'm just looking for the views so that I can get more people on my link and bio, right? The problem with all of that is, is the person who's marketing that way doesn't provide value. So then you fall or you end up feeling crappy for engaging in a, a video like that, being lost and confused. I can't go to blah, blah.com and make $50 by typing. Gosh, they're full of crap, right? Which means you're left with distrust. You don't have any trust. You're wondering what the freak to do. And on top of that, you're wondering who can I trust moving forward when everyone just seems kind of scammy, right? Stop falling for the bait and switch videos. You're better than that. You don't need to fall for that crap. And you also, on another tangent, but kind of what we talked about a minute ago, you also don't need to fall for high ticket offers just because someone's telling you that you have to do it. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have to fi fall for something high ticket. If you resonate with it and it aligns with your goals, then yeah, 
go purchase it. You got the funds, you resonate with whatever it is they're telling you, do it. But if for any reason it does not resonate with you, just like me, just like Jill and a couple others, a couple years ago, I was told, hey, here's less than $10 for something that's gonna teach you how to make money online. Just kidding, it's 2,500. Just kidding, I'm gonna tell you that you're gonna fail unless you upgrade. I don't wanna have people feel that way, which is why I'm saying stop falling for that crap. Okay, does that make sense? Let me know, let me know. Cause I could, I could talk about that kind of stuff all day long, but I also want you to know that if you've fallen for that before or at the end of it, whether you upgrade into something or you didn't, if at the end of all of it, it's made you feel less than, it's made you feel confused or frustrated or whatever, just know that you're worth better, <laughs> okay? You're worth more. You don't have to fork out more and more money, pay for other things and more subscriptions and all that kind of crap just because someone else is looking at you like a dollar bill. You don't have to fall for that crap. Instead, go get fully informed for what you want. Some of you guys commented and said, well, what do I sell? How do I promote? Whatever. I can teach you for free how to market. You choose your lane. You want high ticket offers. You want low ticket offers. You want something passive. You want a one and done sale. Figure out the lane that you want and then find me on freesocialmediatraining.com to scale the sales of what you want. Do you want passive income how I do? Do you want the high ticket offer? Do you wanna sell something like a course because you truly resonate with it instead of being slid into it? Okay, just make sure to do something that you actually desire to do instead of falling for something that's like fizzling income, you know? I relate it to like a roller coaster income. You see your sales go up and the next day they go down and it's all up and down and it's so unpredictable. No, you making money online should be predictable if you know how to effectively market. You want that sale to go up. You want that line, if you were to track it, to go up like this, not like this. Not the stock market. You want something that's like continuing up, right? Every single month, every single week. But instead, it's on a roller coaster. It's frizzling income because either A, you don't know how to effectively market yet. I can help you, okay? Or B, you've fallen for something that might have made you a few hundred dollars, might have made you a few thousand dollars, and then the next month it fizzles. Why? Because what you're doing or what it is you opted into is not actual value. Does that make sense? There's a difference between someone just like being good at marketing for the views and the comments and then they <laughs> slide you into their high ticket offer. He <laughs> he got you, right? And then them actually providing value so that you know exactly how to effectively market so that you can duplicate their process or their so-called process for what they claim to have, right? You guys know the gurus, the gurus. Oh, I make a billion dollars a day by doing nothing, <laughs> Oh, all I did was, you know, tell someone to, to go get my ebook and now I make $1,000 a day. Uh-huh. But did they actually tell you the how-to steps for when and how they got there? For exactly their daily method of operation, for how and when they got there. Does that make sense? You want to partner with someone who gives you value. You want to partner with someone who will help you succeed and scale in the way that you want. Is that fair? <laughs> Trisha, I like how you in, imitate them. Yeah, I know. Maybe that's what they are, you know? Maybe that's how they sound. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, it's funny. It's fine. It's an interruption of my, you know, RBF voice, I guess you could say. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. Um, What should we do then? Mr. Nobody, it really just depends... It really just depends what it is you resonate with, okay? Whatever it is you resonate with, that's what you should do. So as I said to a couple others earlier, do you want to do high ticket offers, one and done sales? Do you want to do low ticket and passive income? Do you want to just freaking explode on, I'm an Amazon affiliate and I sell pink rugs? What is it you want? Because when you know that, you're going to know really, really effectively how to get there. But until you know what destination you're after, 
the steps on how to get there will not happen. Listen, it's like telling Siri directions to blah, blah, dot com or directions. Oh my gosh. It's like telling Siri on your phone. Hey, directions to yada, yada address. Okay. And then Siri pulls up. Okay. Turn at, you know, five miles, go out the roundabout, exit here, six steps later, whatever. She gives you all the details, right? Because you know your destination. Well, Siri's not going to know what steps to give you, just like your income, if you don't know where you're going. Siri even says the estimated time of arrival, and she bullet points out in detail, okay, turn here, and then, you know, in seven miles, do this, and then whatever. If you don't know where you're going financially, it's the same thing. Siri would just sit there. She'd be like, I didn't hear that, right? What would you do? Just like sit in your driveway and sit there? No. You'd have to know your destination. And it's the same thing with your finances. Same exact thing with your finances. You don't know where you're going, you're never gonna get there. The how-to steps will never be unfolded to you, okay? So ask yourself, what do I resonate with? Do I want to do something that's high ticket, a one and done sale where I constantly have to produce content because I love it? If that resonates with you, go freaking do that, okay? If you want to do something low ticket where it's passive, it's built up over time, where eventually you can walk away if you wanted to because what you're selling is needed every month, much like what I do, then go do that. But until you find a lane for what it is financially you want, you're never gonna know what to do. Does that make sense? I know that was a lot. <laughs> I know that was a lot. Let's see, just scrolling up on these comments, making sure I didn't miss any questions here. Let's see, Mike says, what are the con of affiliate marketing on Amazon? So the biggest con for me, Mike, if you're still here, if you are, just drop me a yes real fast. The biggest con for doing Amazon affiliate program anything is that the majority of what can be sold on Amazon is not needed every single month. Not everything, not everything. There are some products that would be needed every single month, but what's needed every single month, for example, say like diapers. Okay, I'm a mom, I've got three kids under age six. If I go put myself on an auto ship every single month to have X amount of diapers, then you're ordering the diapers, you need to be in charge of the reviews so that people click your link instead of whatever other link for, you know, Huggies diapers or whatever, which takes a lot of time to build up so that someone wants to buy your link on diapers for Amazon. Does that make sense? So should I affiliate on must have items? I would do must have items, but you'll have to figure out, do you want to do one and done sales? Because correct me if I'm wrong, okay, I don't do Amazon affiliate crap for this purpose, but don't they only pay like what average of like four to five percent? Is that right? Do you guys know? Because even if you're selling something like diapers, I might spend 50 bucks on my diapers and I might put it on auto ship every single month, but if I only make five percent of fifty dollars, I've literally made nothing. That'd be a lot of diapers to sell on a reoccurring payment, hoping that a mom like myself finds your link and wants to order your link, which is why it ends up being like Amazon FBA, where it's a lot of money up front. You're shipping it from a warehouse or something like that. Now, on top of that, Amazon affiliate program, it's fine. It's fine if you want to do Amazon affiliate program, but if you don't find something that is reoccurring, it is like like, what do you call it? <laughs> it's a fizzling commission, in my opinion. My example of like, I sell a pink rug. If I sell you a pink rug, if Ash clicks on my link to get a pink rug for her sister, okay, she only needs the pink rug once. She's not gonna be, <laughs> she's not gonna be buying the pink rug every single month, right? And a pink rug, say $50, you only make a teeny bit of that. Is it worth all of the content creation for you to make a one and done sale or to make such low percentage on income? You'd have to figure that out, Mike. So there's nothing wrong with the Amazon affiliate program. Totally awesome. If you know how to scale it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, just scrolling up, making sure I didn't miss any comments here. Um, Brian Sally, the URL I gave is freesocialmediatraining.com. 
freesocialmediatraining.com. That's how you can scale your sales if you already have a business or product you want to promote, okay? What do I teach my YouTube? Build success for Tommy. Sorry for the delay. I just barely saw your comment here. I teach digital marketing and I teach people who already have a business how to scale their business or you can partner with me. Just go get fully informed on my YouTube channel. I do digital marketing and teach you how to do the same. Uh, let's see. Rebecca says, so what if I sell high ticket items for the wealth niche? Is it bad to sell online courses? Of course not. You can totally sell you can totally sell high ticket stuff, courses, whatever, e-learning, yada, yada. You can do that. Just make sure, Rebecca, that it aligns with your goals when you look to the future. When you look in a month from now, when you look in a year from now, when you look in five or 10 years from now, do you still want to just be doing high ticket offers for a one and done commission? If the answer is yes, then yes, do it. But if the answer is no, make sure that either A, you have something else that's passive the opposite of what I just said, or that you're constantly increasing how you market so that those sales won't feel like they're fizzling or like a roller coaster, but that here in a year, here in a month, here in 10 years, you wouldn't be bored of it. Because a lot of times people I talk with who have done the course route, I sell a high ticket offer course, you know, $2,500, five grand, three grand, whatever it is, they might make a thousand or 3000 from it. But as soon as they stop producing content, their income stops. Does that make sense? So to hone in a marketing strategy that's really, really helpful for you is going to be critical in this type of aspect. Does that make sense? Let me know. Let's see. Cody, what's up, my friend? If you guys are collaborators, you should congratulate Cody Digital Trainer. He said, hello, all happy Monday because he started in digital marketing with me today, partnered up, and he's here. So you should say congrats to Cody. <laughs> Let's see. Diana says, going to try this again. I'm interested in learning. I've taken the 37 challenge, but it wasn't for me. Totally understand. Go get fully informed on my YouTube channel. Find me on Facebook or Instagram. If you want to chat directly, just let me know you came from TikTok Live, okay? Let's see. This person is being blocked. Let me just block this little woohoo over here. Um, Ryan says I've gotten 78 cents on a $17 item. Exactly the problem, Ryan, <laughs> which I'm glad you partnered up with me so that you can get 50% commissions, not freaking four or 5% commissions. You know, shoot. All right. Thank you guys for collaborating about Cody. That's freaking awesome. So good. Let's see. Um, Angie says, I post Amazon review videos po paid every time someone buys what I've reviewed, creating content once. Awesome, Angie. That's freaking stellar. Very awesome. Hey, girl. Oh, my gosh. You're super busy over here. How are you today? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> uh, let's see if I remember your name. Sully. Is it James? Oh, my gosh. If that's wrong, I'm going to be so mad. Is it James? I feel like it is, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh my gosh. I don't remember. Drop me a comment. Let me know your real name because I don't remember. Hold on. Hurry, drop me a comment. It's really going to bug me. Okay. Maybe I'll see his comment in a second. All right. Yeah, legendary from what I understand, Ash is not passive. I believe it's a one and done sale because it's a high ticket offer. And you're not going to have Billy Bob from Kansas purchase $2,500 every single month, right? It's a one and done sale because it's a one and done product. Does that make sense? At least I think, unless they've changed it since I did it, you know, in 2020. Charles, Charles, James. I mean, they're kind of the same type of name, right? Forgive me. <laughs> I'll remember that for next time, Sully. Charles. I gotta connect the two. Sully is Charles. Sully is Charles. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, what other questions do you guys have? Making money online, how to scale your sales with whatever it is you're currently doing, with you know, digital marketing. If you want to partner with me, how can I help you? What do you need? Draw me a comment, let me know. I'm gonna tuck my kids in 
Let's see, what time is it? Oh, 8.10. 8, I'm going to tuck my kids in here in the next few minutes. So let me know right now if you guys have additional questions. Now, I go live once, twice, even sometimes three times a day. And if ever you are not here but want to catch my replays for what I do on TikTok here, you can go to mytiktokplaylist.com. Mytiktokplaylist.com, the one I did earlier today at about, I don't know, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, something like that. Um, is already up on my YouTube channel if you need to watch that replay. I went live last night on TikTok and Facebook at the same time. That was fun. You can also catch that replay on my TikTokplaylist.com as well. Let's see. So just scrolling up on these comments here. Um, Rodney says, are you an affiliate marketer? <laughs> I was like, am I a what, what, what? <laughs> I like the typo. Um, I'm an affiliate for a savings membership, but it's through digital marketing and passive income. I just approach it like an affiliate marketer. Mike Gresham, so tell me what I need to do. Go to my YouTube channel, go get fully informed, Mike, for what I do and how it works. That way you know if you want to partner up and do digital marketing, passive wave income. Jessica says, how do I partner with you? I would love to know about passive income. Yes, my friend, same, to, same answer from Mike. Just go to my YouTube channel, Kirsty Snyder, how you spell my name is in my TikTok bio, and get fully informed. If you guys want to chat directly, you can find me on Instagram or Facebook. Same handle, Kirsty Snyder, K Y R S D I S N Y D E R. Just make sure you spell it right, or you probably maybe won't find me. Okay? Kirsty, like an ear sound, not Christy. All right. Um, Jerry says, What happens after you sign up? Does the company contact you right away? So I actually will contact you right away. If we've not yet connected on Facebook or Instagram, Jerry, please find me there, okay? If you choose to enroll and partner up, then I'll be able to add you to the training that you get for free, the custom app, all of that right away. You hear from me right away. Mike says, how do you track taxes on passive income? So just the same as if you had one and done sales, you get paid every Wednesday like clockwork with what I do. Every single Wednesday afternoon, you'd get a paycheck if you have sales, how you do taxes, how you report on them, how you file, all that kind of stuff. You'd have to consult your CPA. I'm not licensed and I can't give that advice. Um, Matthew, Rika, Rika, with the system you teach, do you have to show your face on social media to earn money? So Matthew, I'll answer that question with a question. If I was like this the whole time and you couldn't see me, would you be commenting right now? Probably not. So I invite you to think larger than yourself. Get on social media, Matt, because people need you. Okay? I'm going to teach you for, three, for free three times a week how to master social media. Even if you've never made a penny online before, even if you've never shown your face online before, you're uncomfortable, you're an introvert, whatever else. Everyone starts at zero. It's your choice if you stay there. Does that make sense? Hopefully you resonate. Let's see, Charles says, we're going to talk soon. I promise getting things out of the way, then you have my full attention. Sounds good, Charles. Find me on Facebook or Instagram. Just let me know that you're Sully from TikTok. <laughs> uh, sounds good, Mike. Talk to you soon. Let's see. Sounds good, Jessica. Talk to you soon. All right, Ash. Go back to freesocialmediatraining.com, my friend. Enjoy. Just make sure you're not binging. Make sure you're applying the concepts, okay? Danielle says, can you repeat your Instagram? I joined when you were at the end of it. Yep, Danielle, my Instagram is just the same as my Facebook or my YouTube channel. It's my first last name. How you spell my first last name is in my TikTok bio. Let's see. Scrolling through these comments, making sure I didn't miss anything. Jerry, find me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to chat directly. I know you've been on my live videos a handful of times the last few days, and I'd love to chat with you directly, okay? Can you spell out the links again to Facebook or to message directly? Yep, Michelle, it's Kirsty Snyder, K-Y-R-S-T-I-S-N-Y-D-E-R. -I, I know I said that fast. I do have to go tuck my kids in. That's why. But the spelling, the exact spelling, Michelle, is in my TikTok bio, K-Y-R-S-T-I. Kirsty, not Christy. Lynn, what's up, girl? Have you gone live yet? Lynn, have you gone live? <laughs> you better. Go live. All right. Let's see, did I miss anything? Binging and applying side by side. Okay, good, Ashley, good. All right, you guys, if you want to catch this replay or any other replays from TikTok with what I do here a couple times a day, you can go to mytiktokplaylist.com. 
If you need help scaling your sales for your current business and don't want to pay for material for how to grow organically and how to get leads and all of that kind of stuff, funnels, capture pages, emails, YouTube monetization, whatever, go to freesocialmediatraining.com, freesocialmediatraining.com, okay? Even at freesocialmediatraining.com, Mike, I teach how to do live videos. There's a formula to follow. Eventually, it won't be awkward. The first time you do it, the second time you do it, the third time you do it, it just compounds. It gets a lot easier. I used to not be good at social media at all. Sucked at it. Didn't know how to create a brand. Didn't know how to go live. I'd seriously cry before I went live, even hitting the button because I was like, oh, I just don't know what to do. I don't know how to do it. And then ironically, once you start doing it, you learn how because you're in the trenches actually doing it, not just talking about it and suffocating yourself with anxiety. You know what I mean? So go to freesocialmediatraining.com, watch the video under the Facebook section that teaches you how to do live videos. You'll be so glad you did, Mike. It'll be so good for you. All right. And if you want to partner up with digital marketing, you can go over to my YouTube channel in general, check out the videos there at the top that I have for an overview. Connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. If you want to chat directly, just let me know you came from TikTok. Bye guys.